What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another ranking video having just watched Bill and Ted face the music in theaters. I figured it was time for me to rank all three Bill and Ted films from the worst to the best. So I just got into the Bill and Ted movies. I saw the first Bill and Ted a few years ago and wasn't too crazy about it. Rewatched it in preparation for this ranking. Highly enjoyed the film. Got into the whole trilogy and to my surprise all three films are actually really good. I enjoy the charm of the films. I enjoy just the sheer goofiness of them all where you can't really take them seriously. They're ridiculously entertaining comedy rides starring two talented actors, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter. These were fun movies to check out, so without further ado, it's time for me to rank all three Bill and Ted films. Before I start this ranking, don't be shy to share your rankings down in the comments below. Which Bill and Ted movie was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? We're not all going to have the same rankings because it's all our personal opinions. But that's the beauty of it all, so share your rankings down in the comments below. Nobody's opinions are the same, so without further ado, let's get started with this ranking. And coming in at number three is Bill and Ted Face the Music. Not because this is a bad film, because when you're doing a ranking, something has to be in last place. And in this case, it's the newest Bill and Ted film. The reason why this is at the bottom of my list is because for a while I didn't think it had the same charm or magic that the other two Bill and Ted films had. Just some of the jokes about 50 year old Bill and Ted having a midlife crisis just didn't flow as well compared to the teenage Bill and Ted's which were a lot more vibrant and larger than life and over the top. So I did think some of the jokes were dry and stale in that regard, but at the end of the day, it's still a fun ride, and it does impress me that a long-awaited comedy sequel still turned out to be this good. Still an entertaining ride, it doesn't overstay its welcome, it's still an entertaining entry that has a lot of fun moments with Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter, but surprisingly, the scene stealers I fought were the daughters, played by Samara Weaving, and I forgot the other one off the top of my head, but they are fantastic, and I hope to see a spinoff one day with those two characters. They were hysterical throughout. I enjoy the overall message of the film, and it's still an entertaining entry, but my least favorite of the three Bill and Ted films. Coming in at number two is Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. This is one that quite, some people were disappointed in, and I can definitely see where some of them are coming from, because Bogus Journey definitely took a more different direction compared to the time-traveling approach that Excellent Adventure had. This is definitely a slightly darker sequel where Bill and Ted die and they go to hell and they play games with death. But I gotta applaud the writers for actually doing something different with these characters. And I still had a blast with this film. While the script is a little uneven at times, I guess Bogus Journey and Face the Music both have those problems, but I enjoyed Bogus Journey a little bit more. I enjoyed how different it was. I loved how the film embraced how bonkers it truly was, and you can't go wrong with William Sadler as death. He stole the entire film, and it's really crazy that they followed up Excellent Adventure with a sequel that's bonkers. And I can't help but love it because of that. But coming in at number one, easily the best film in this trilogy, is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And it's pretty obvious why this is the best film in the series. Because I think this is the one that I think has aged the best of the two, even with the, all the 80s references and the dated soundtrack and all. But I think the timelessness of the story and just how timeless Bill and Ted are as characters and how the movie is secretly brilliant even in its stupidity. It's such an entertaining watch. It's a very unique look at time travel. I enjoy the comical versions of the historical figures. This is Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter at the top of their game at these characters and overall what an entertaining ride. This is the Bill and Ted film I enjoyed the most. This is easily the most iconic of the three. 
And for all those reasons and more, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure most easily comes in at number one. So that wraps up my ranking of the Bill and Ted films. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share your rankings down in the comments below. Did you agree? Did you disagree? But whatever your rankings are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides ranking videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless. Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes!